Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the error code 0xd000225 on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to rename the ngc folder using command prompt. Now while you are in the login screen, make sure to click on the power icon and then press on your shift key on the keyboard and then click on the restart button. Now this will restart your computer in the advanced startup menu. From here on select troubleshoot, then click on advanced options and now go to command prompt under advanced options. Now in the command prompt window make sure to type in the following command or copy paste it from the description below. Now just wait for the process to complete and lastly simply run the next command which you'll find in the description below. So just copy paste it and then once again press on enter and wait until the process is complete. Now return to the first screen and then click on continue to proceed with the normal boot. And you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line you can also remove and re-add your login pin. Now to do this press the windows button, then make sure to head over to settings. Now in here click on accounts on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the sign in options category. Now select the pin category and the first thing you have to do is click on the remove button. Now just remove your pin, type in your password if you want to remove your pin and afterwards you can set up a new pin for your computer. And you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to reset your PC to default settings in safe mode. So once again, on the Windows sign-in screen, press and hold the Shift key while you restart your computer to boot your system into the Advanced Startup menu. Now in the Choose an Option screen, click on Troubleshoot. Next, click on Reset this PC. Then just follow the on-screen instructions to start the reset procedure. Now afterwards, after Windows is reset, you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.